Hey guys, what's up? It's Roblox Spring here and welcome back to yet again another video and today we're going to be going over 10 super weird Roblox theories that people actually believe in. But if you are new here, I would want to go ahead and ask you to hit that red subscribe button on your screen and maybe click the bell as we post weekly Roblox content and it would be a shame if you missed out on any of it. Anyways guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this list. This first theory that we're going to be sharing is one that everyone believes in and for a good reason. The theory has that Roblox can remove your account just by uploading a picture of yourself. You heard that right, Roblox is actually within their legal rights to ban people for posting a picture. It is clearly stated in their site rules that if you post a selfie of any kind, you will be banned after two attempts. That is honestly crazy to us. The next theory we have is that Leah Ash was actually held hostage. A lot of people believe this insane theory because there was a lot of evidence pointing towards it. The break she just took fell right into conspiracy theorists' hands, and the theory had it to where she was recording and a psycho fan broke into her home. She then held her hostage for a whole month and her husband didn't do anything. That was a little bit of a shocker to us that her husband would act in that situation, which is why we think that this might be false. The third theory we have is that people may actually screenshot your messages. This got a lot of traction after a story came out where a Roblox user reported another user for hacking but the other person took screenshots of everything he said and put them out of context to get Roblox to ban his account as well. We do not know if this is true or not but if it is that's honestly pretty crazy. The fourth theory we have is that there is a Roblox ghost. The rumor had it that if you stayed on a server alone for more than 24 hours, there would be a chance that you would actually see a ghost of the original guest, much like Herobrine in Minecraft. This ghost would then haunt your game for the rest of the time that you played. The fifth theory we have is that Roblox would one day go away. This is not a likely situation since Roblox has had one of its best years ever and there will be more players coming and going over the next several years and it is a profitable company but things can change so we cannot give a definite answer on this one for sure. The sixth theory that we have is that Roblox kidnaps YouTubers. This is based off of a very short story we have where Dan TDM was captured by the Roblox devs and the CEO of Roblox itself because he uploaded Fortnite content. This is very unlikely since this is a massive crime that would land them also in some very serious jail time if any of these YouTubers actually decided to take action in this situation. The seventh theory we have is that Leah Ash and I Am Sana got into a massive fight. This is one that was spread on Reddit a long time ago, but there was a video with the post, but the video was taken down, and this led to people questioning if this was actually a true story or not. The eighth theory that we have is that the shower simulator game may be returning. A lot of people remember this horrible game where you showered with other users. This was an easy way for people wanting to do naughty stuff to get away with it on Roblox, and Roblox finally actually laid down justice and removed it, but it would never actually come back in any realistic situation unless some massive changes came. Now for the ninth theory we have, it's that Kaneko Kitten is a terrible person. There are legitimately dozens of stories about him on the internet that are currently being spread since there isn't a whole lot of topic on a lot of the things that they're talking about in the videos. This is a little bit confusing, but he actually wouldn't do some of the stuff that people are saying he does because he's a really nice guy and just wants to play Roblox and spread some love and cheer. The tenth theory we have isn't as much of a theory as more of it is a general misconception. There are loads of YouTubers who do giveaways, but some of these are actually fake. If a YouTuber for any reason asks you for your Roblox login information, do not give it to them. They're trying to hack into your account and probably sell it off to people wanting to buy all of your items and steal it off of there. So do not do it, guys. Well, anyways, y'all, that is all we have time for today on Roblox Spring. We really hope that you enjoyed it, and if we missed anything, please let us know down in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace out, have a great day, and bye bye